hi guys welcome to devops tutorial and today we are going to create a simple pipeline for android application using jenkins ubuntu and app center and github so we deploy our code into the github and if any developer push the code so jenkins will trigger the build and once the build will be completed it will generate one apk file that apk file will be deployed into the app center and from the app center user can download the apk and test in your mobile phone so for that one we have uh, like first we have to set up the jenkins in our ubuntu server so that already done here and if you want to see how to set up the jenkins so i will add the description url where you can go and check the steps for set up the jenkins and here all the steps that required for set up the android sdk in our ubuntu server so let's go to the terminal and execute each command one by one. So we are logging and first command is apt get update. So Java is already installed because Java is required for the Jenkins. So we directly jump to the install SDK. So we have to install Android SDK here. Android SDK is installed here. Now we have to create a one folder that is command line. So how to create is user lib Android SDK and command line tools. So here our folder will be created in this location user lib Android SDK command line tools. Okay. So after that one we have to go to that folder. So we are using the cd command. Now we have to download the SDK. So it's downloading. Okay, download is done. Let's uh, just reduce the font here. It's not properly visible. Okay. So after that one we have to unzip this file so once unzip will done let's clear the terminal the next command is remove that file okay so when we download this file a command line tool linux will be available and we have what we did we extract this folder so you can download the latest this command line tools from the android developer site okay let's clear this terminal now we have to remove these things so we have the command is sudo remove and the file name okay so this file is removed the next command is we have to export the android mode so we can easily get the path so then we have to uh, command line tools then we have to platform tools export the platform tools okay so let's clear this after then we have to check the sdk version so where we can found this sdk version in the command line tools we go to the tools ls cd bean ls so this sdk manager we can found is here okay so let's go back or okay now what we have to do we have to check the sdk version so with the help of this command we can see the sdk version so the sdk version is 4.0.1 let's clear this now we have to get the list of sdk manager so here we can get the list of all the packages like platform tools supported libraries and system image all this 
packages we can get it here now we have to install the some packages and provide the license okay so let's go to the here and we have to provide the redirect permission for android home okay so let's clear this so the permission is provided now we have to accept all the license this is very important if you miss these things it will not work so here all the license are accepted the next thing is we have to download the platform tools depending upon your project okay so here is downloading and once it is downloaded it will be available in the available section so we can see that one let's reduce the font size meanwhile now this is done now we have to go to the jenkins okay then we have to set the environment here first we have to set the java path then we have to set the okay let's first set the android studio path android sdk path sorry so we have to go to the configuration and here we have to select the environment variable add and provide the name of variable is android home and what is the path here this is the path we have to set it here okay. and click on apply and save then again go to the manage jenkins global tool call, uh, configuration and here we have to set the jdk path so java uncheck this one and we can get the path from here this location user leap jvm and here the java version okay so we can set up here okay this is also done git already set up now gradle so we can we are using the latest gradle that automatically install and apply and save okay so we have to click on the new item and provide the project name here is android ci cd simple and freestyle project click on ok and here you have to provide the description like this is the simple project and we have to select the option discard the old builds for saving the memory okay day to keep the build means one day i need to be keep the build number of the build i need to be keep is one then we have to select the git and this is our github project for android so just copy and paste it here this is the public project so it's not required any id and password then we have to go to the build environment so here we have to select the about the build if it is uh, uh, stuck in some time so it will about then we have to select the invoke the gradles okay so here we are selecting the gradles latest and the first operation we are performing the clean okay so click on apply and save now click on the build now so it will trigger our build so here the build number 1 is trigger and it will start the execution it will take few minutes because it's depend upon your system okay so build is successful let's go back to the our project go to the configuration now we will learn how to create the artifacts okay so in post build action we have a artifact section here we have to provide the path for our apk 
and here in gradle script we have to add more one more action that is assemble debug okay then click on apply and save will now so what it will be do here it will execute each steps that is required to generate the build okay and it will create one apk file in the output folder and that output folder will be copied into the artifacts okay here we can see the task is running clean pre-build compile debug process manifest file so all these steps once completed it will generate one apk file and that apk file will be copied into the artifacts so this artifact is for jenkins the next task is we have to copy this uh, apk file into the app center okay so build is completed archive is completed so let's go to the project here we can see here the last successful artifacts is we can generate the apk file now the next task is we have to set up the app center so you just go and log in the app center create a new app before creating you have to just go to the account setting and uh, copy this id okay this is required for us and user api token so just click on this one and provide the name and full access so it will give you one token that token you have to save this is required for our jenkins plugins okay then go to the jenkins dashboard and manage jenkins manage plugins and install the apk center app center sorry so this is already installed in my machine we can see in this install section yeah this is already installed here so you just go and you need to install okay so let's go again to the app center go to the dashboard create a new here provide the app name this is android test release type is alpha os type is android platform is java kotlin and new once the project is created just go to the click on distribution click on the group create your group like it's a testing group and provide the email address of the member and create it now we have go to the again app center dashboard the app center part is done then go to the android ci cd configuration and go to the post build action here we have see the upload the app center option is available so api token that token i already saved in my file and we have to save provide the username okay then app name so app name is android test just copy this name the path copy this path and group name distribution group name is testing group okay so just copy this testing group name and done. so apply and save so once you build now it will generate our build we, you can do with the help of git scm and the build is started and it will take few minutes okay so the gradle app assemble debug command is now executing and it will generate one apk file and that apk file will be deployed into the app center currently there is no apk here
it will take few minutes more okay so build is successful and uploading builds into the our app center and once the build will be uploaded you will get the notification from the app center that there is a new build is available so just refresh it here if we can see here the new build one version 1.10 testing group is available now okay so this is the way we can creating a simple pipeline that we can use in very small project for very small companies that you can easily use this scenario and you can set up the pull SCM here so whenever any developer will push the code it will generate a build and it will available into the app center so guys thank you please like and subscribe my youtube channel for more upcoming videos Thank you.